Okay, happy Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? I think it's Wednesday. I am working outside again today because the weather's amazing. Um, so yeah, working outside. <clears throat> For those of you who've never listened to me before, I'm Jane. I specialize in helping service-based business owners and coaches leverage their time whilst drastically increasing their income through high-end salons so that they can live limitlessly. So if you come on live, give me a hey. If you are watching the replay, give me a hashtag replay so I can come back and say hey to you. Don't forget to drop your comments, ask your questions. Um, even if you're watching the replay, I'll always come back and answer them for you. So today I want to talk about sales pages. Hey! And the reason I want to talk about it actually is because um, one of the lovely women that I follow on Instagram actually did a post this morning where she was speaking about the fact that she'd sat down to write this sales page um this long sales page you know hitting all the kind of pointers and using this template that everyone says that you've got to use and after she wrote this she felt like she really didn't gel with it and she scrapped it all and just went for a really 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 basic page and i commented you know and kind of said totally feel you um i sometimes don't even use sales pages at all and i was thinking about it and i really kind of wanted to just chat to you guys about it today because i think people do tie themselves up into knots with what it is that they feel that they have to do all these rules around business right and i talk about this actually in my book she lives limitlessly um which you can grab on the link above if you haven't got your copy yet so and, and here's the thing right just because someone else has all these set of rules for themselves doesn't mean that you have to have the same set of rules for yourself it doesn't mean that you have to do the exact same thing that someone else is doing what kind of gels for them and works for them isn't necessarily what's going to work for you you know a lot of people talk about the kind of like masculine and feminine energy and for me I'm not necessarily sort of like one side of the other. I'm the type of person that kind of like straddles both. So I love the more kind of masculine stuff, but I also love a lot of the feminine kind of energies as well. And so both appear in my business. But when it comes to sales pages, I particularly find that it can become a real sort of like thing that holds people back from actually getting their stuff out there. So a lot of people will not put something out there for sale because they think they need a sales page or they are constantly tweaking a sales page because they think it isn't right and then they worry is the sales page too long is the sales page too short does it not have enough and here's the thing right everybody is different and sometimes it can be worth thinking and just asking ourselves the question of i mean hey does it work for us you know or the type of person that we're looking to work with what would they be looking for in a sales page I mean, I have sales pages, right? And the funny thing is, when people buy from those sales pages, sometimes I forget that they even exist. So the sale happens and I'm like, oh, I totally forgot that that sales page even existed because I don't actually use it. It's on my website. People can visit it. People can buy from it. People do buy from it. But I don't actually use them. And for a lot of my stuff, I don't always create the sales page for it. The only things that I actually have sales pages for are the sort of things that are constantly for sale so my roll-in type of courses um and my my higher end one-to-one stuff but i don't necessarily use them so when the doors are open for my one-to-one stuff or i have spaces available i very rarely actually use the sales page um and for a lot of my sort of other type of programs that aren't necessarily always open or they're not one-to-one so for example my current um, group program that's open for enrollment expect I don't have a sales page for it and I sell it out without a sales page and I sell out the 10 to 10k squad without a sales page and I sell out a lot of the other kind of stuff that I do without a sales page and I sell people onto my higher type of 40 and 50k packages without a sales page and so when people say to me do I need a sales page I'm always like well I mean I don't does it mean you don't I mean it might do it kind of really just depends upon you and what you actually feel into and it's the same with you know should my sales page be really long or really short I make my sales pages quite short and to the point why well because I don't pay any attention to those long sales pages in fact 
I can't remember the last time I signed up for something off of what I read on a sales page. Most of the time um, of anything that I've signed up to recently, I've signed up to it without even looking at the sales page. But if I do look at a sales page, I go to all the important stuff, right? I don't scroll for ages reading this ridiculously long sales page. It doesn't work for me. And I tend to find that the people that I want to work with sort of engage and behave in the same type of way. And so the sales pages that I do actually write and I do actually create, they usually shorten to the point because I know that the type of person I want to be working with, that's the type of thing that they are looking for. That's the type of thing that they would be doing. In fact, most of the people that come to work with me don't actually go to the sales pages. Very few of them do. And so I tend to, when answering the question about do you need a sales page or not, I don't necessarily think it's always like a straightforward yes or no. Um, you might decide that you do want a sales page for some things. But then as regards of, you know, how long does it need to be? How short does it need to be? For me, I tend to really sort of like to be able to tune in to thinking about how I behave with sales pages and also the type of person that I want to be attracting in and working with and how they engage and behave with sales pages. And for a lot of my people that, that I like to work with and, and that come to work with me, they don't like those really long ones, right? And so, um, and I don't like those really long ones. And so I don't create really long sales pages. But then equally, I know that, so some of my clients who do do sales pages, their audience do like the, the longer format type of sales pages and, that, and, and you know, that's what they type of create. And so I think for a lot of it, you know, that isn't, in my opinion, that isn't a set standard rule. You know, you can sell out high-end packages without a sales page. You know, my client who sells packages that are 200K and plus, she doesn't have a sales page for that. She sells them out without a sales page. And I talk about this in the She Lives Limitlessly book. Um, I talk about how I you know, made my, my first six figures without sales pages. I talk about that in the book as well. And you can obviously grab your copy of it if you haven't already. Um, so do you need a sales page? I mean, the answer is kind of like, well, entirely up to you really because just because you see somebody else with a ton of sales pages doesn't mean you have to do the same thing I when it comes to sales pages do literally follow the sort of do I want to create a sales page for this um, and if I if the answer to that is yes then I'll create a sales page but I'll create it from I'm just going to be saying on there what I think my audience really wants to know and hear and what I really want to share um, and where I really want to be able to demonstrate and build a value and I won't add all this fluff around it and make it long and make it sort of like overwhelming and have all this fluff information that doesn't really make a difference to them. I won't include all of that on there um, and it works for me. Now is that necessarily going to work for you? Not necessarily because maybe maybe you want to have a sales page, maybe you like um, the, the longer drawn out type of stuff and maybe your audience likes that maybe your audience prefers buying from sales pages but if you're somebody that doesn't you know gel with sales pages or you know and in some cases and I think this is like another valid thing as well in some cases lots of people don't actually know what kind of converts people on mass and so they create these sales pages that don't convert and they don't convert because you don't actually know what converts that audience en masse. Whereas when you're having a one-to-one -one conversation with someone or you're selling off the back of a video that you've done or a post that you've written, you can so much easier tailor that, that sales pitch of it, the sales part of it to the person you're speaking to or to the thing that you've just spoken about. Which means that actually for, for a lot of people, they will see a higher conversion of sales without a sales page than they would with one because if you don't know what converts your audience and you don't know what converts them on mass sending people to the sales page link isn't always going to work for you so I, I particularly think for people who are sort of you know starting out then shall we say and who are looking to get to their first sort of like 10k months and that you can ditch the sales pages you know you you can you can sell without them just have a payment link that you can send people to when they've said yes or have a payment link that you add in at the end of you know a video that you do a live or a post or a blog or whatever it might be and you'll actually see a higher conversion without the sales page than you would if you were sending all that traffic to one so actually in some ways people thinking that they need a sales page and then they sort of spend all this time creating one and then send the traffic there instead of doing it sort of organically uh, that can actually see 
no sales or very few sales whereas they would see a higher conversion if they didn't have a sales page because you have to know what converts people on mass for the sales page to work you have to know what objections they've got you have to know what paint you know what picture they want painting for them you have to know why they want to sign up for it um and so yeah i really wanted to talk about it i wanted to talk about it because sales pages is something that holds people back is something that people agonize over and spend weeks and weeks and weeks thinking, I can't sell this until I've got a sales page. And then they wonder whether they need to be long or short or should I include this or should I include that? And how many how many times do I need to have the buy button in there? And all those types of different things. Um, and the thing is, you can sell without a sales page. You can sell with a short sales page. You can sell with a long sales page. Half of it comes down to you, your own sort of feelings around it and also the audience you're trying to attract in. But in my opinion, if you're somebody that is not currently hitting sort of the 10k month, so you're just sort of starting out and you don't have um, conversions, then a sales page can actually be a completely pointless exercise for you and you would actually see better sales from not having a sales page than with one. But essentially, don't allow thinking that you need a sales page to hold you back from going out there and selling and don't get wrapped up in oh my god is it right and don't spend weeks and weeks and weeks tweaking the sales page and going from long to short and do i need to include this and do i need to include that really connect in with what you want to share on that sales page and also the type of person that you want to be working with and, and converting and what they would want to hear or, or need to hear or whatever it might be and just focus on that and forget the rules that everybody else has got set for themselves because everybody's different and everybody's unique and the idea that we're telling people that oh you know you can't sell something unless you have a sales page which has got six sell buttons on it and four objection handlings and it's got 20 million different paragraphs look people sell stuff without sales pages i sell stuff out without sales pages my clients sell stuff out without sales pages people sell stuff with short sales pages People sell stuff with long sales pages. You will always find someone who is having success and doing something in some different way. There's always going to be different people doing different things and getting the success with it because they're doing what's right for them. They're doing what works for them. And ultimately, that's the important thing. So don't get hung up on holding yourself back because of someone else's set of rules, right? Like make your own rules for your, for yourself and really tune into what's going to work for you. And also the situation you're currently in. Because like I said, if you're somebody that isn't converting anyway, the chances of you creating a sales page that is going to convert is really, really, really slim. And you'd be better off putting your time into the organic type of um, selling versus sending people to a sales page. So obviously, as I said, I talk about all of this in my book. So feel free to grab yourself a copy of it. The link is above. And also... Um, spaces are available on my expect program so expect is a 12-week program we basically change your whole reality around expecting so what we expect is usually what we get and for some people that can feel really frustrating right but it's absolutely true the fact is that the reason why what we expect matters is because what we expect influences our energy and then it influences the actions that we take and often if we expect to attract people in for example who are not going to pay our prices we will be acting and from an energetic space which means we take an action that means that we're not actually showing up in a way in a space with the stuff that would would actually attract the people in who are ready and willing to pay our prices because what action we're taking is the action that matches the expectations that we have just like if we expect to wake up every morning and not to have made any sales, we're not going to be taking the action that would mean that we would actually be waking up to sales because the action is different. And the actions that we take are born from the expectations that we have. Um, and I'm really passionate about this topic because it completely changes things for people. You know, I've had clients that have gone and we've completely changed their expectations through this program and they've gone from not being able to make a sale for 12 to 18 months to completely selling out high ticket offers and making over 50k in in a single month and going on to have that consistently and what we changed was their expectations what we changed was their belief and the energy and the environment and it all comes from the expectations that they hold so inside this program um, we're also going obviously going to be looking at the actions that you take so there will be strategy inside of it but it's mainly focused on changing your expectations expectations which changes your whole world which then changes what we receive if you are someone that wants to be waking up to sales you want to be attracting in people who are ready and willing to pay your prices with ease you want to be hitting your goals you want to be doing all these things that you're currently not doing then this is going to be the perfect program for you because it's going to completely change everything and you will change your results 
So if you would like more information on it, either comment below or send me a message and I will send you the full details on it. We get started at the 16th of March. It's a couple of weeks away yet, but you can reserve your spaces right now as numerous other people have and I would absolutely love to take you through it. So send me a message or comment below for more information on that. And don't forget, you can grab the link to your book, to my book rather, in the section above if you haven't already got your hands on the copy and i do sign copies as well that are available on our link for the exact same price have an amazing wednesday everybody and i'll see you all soon bye